Hi students, welcome to SPS University. This is Suresh, Senior Biology Faculty. In the previous session, we discussed about the Mendel's loss of inheritance, the deviations, monohybrid cross, dihybrid cross, genotypic ratio, genotypic ratio, as well as we discussed some deviations from Mendel's laws. So we discussed about the three laws of Mendel's that is law of dominance, law of segregation, law of independence. So now we are going to discuss about the chromosomal theory of inheritance. So after Mendel so a lot of development was there in the field of genetics. Dr. Mendel's work, next theory was proposed by that is Walter Sutton and Theodore Bowen. So they worked out on the behavior of chromosomes during meiosis. So meiosis is the process which takes place during, it is a type of cell division which takes place during gametogenesis, where diploid germ cells are converted to haploid gametes. So what they observed is, when you take the behavior of chromosomes was parallel to behavior of genes. So they used this chromosome movement to explain Mendel's law. That means the chromosomal theory of inheritance, it is a knowledge of chromosomal segregation with Mendelian principles. That is called chromosomal theory of inheritance. So what it says, what chromosomal theory of inheritance says? So chromosomes and genes are present in pairs, both are present in pairs. Like homologous chromosomes which separate during formation of gametes. And again, after fertilization, it comes to diploid stage, that is haploid is converted into diploid. That is, during gamete formation, diploid cells will form haploid. During fertilization, haploid cells will combine and form diploid cells. So, which are quite opposite process. So, in chromosomal theory of inheritance, what they told is, that is, the proposal is, the chromosomes and genes are occur in parallel. So they get separated during that is the segregation of chromosomes and whatever the chromosomal theory of inheritance has proposed, it was experimentally verified by Thomas Van Morgan. So he is the person who is called the father of experimental genetics father of genetics or classical genetics is Mendel, Gregor John Mendel. Where Thomas Hunt Morgan is, is called father of experimental genetics. Where he has done experimental verification of chromosomal theory of inheritance. So for his experiment, what is the tool he has taken is fruit flies that is Drosophila melanogaster. Why only fruit fly? Why not other? The reason why it has, why it has taken. The reason for this is it is suitable for genetic studies and they can be grown easily on simple synthetic medium. And the lifespan is just only two weeks. And in a single mating, it can produce large number of offsprings. 
in a single mating large number of offspring are produced and male and female can be clearly differentiated and even under low power microscope the variations can be easily seen due to these reasons as they can be grown in the simple synthetic medium the life cycle is only just two weeks in a single mating it will produce many progeny clear differentiation between male and female hereditary variations can be seen with low power microscope so here you can see this due to this he has selected the drosophila as an experimental tool so in this picture you can see the difference between the male and female drosophila so the female drosophila has broad abdomen okay. and when you come to male it has male that is narrow abdomen and in male the bigger black spot on the male that is at the bottom you can see and it is short round where it is this point so female is slightly larger when compared with males that means externally that is phenotypically it can be differentiated the male and female can be differentiated phenotypically so that's how the difference between male and female drosophila so on conducting the experiments on the drosophila melanogaster he has proposed that is thomas hunt morgan has proposed two concepts one is linkage and another one is recombination we'll see how he has come into a conclusion of linkage and recombination so here what he did is he has performed a dihybrid cross he performed a dihybrid cross between in the drosophila melanogaster where the genes are located on sex chromosomes so he has conducted a dihybrid cross and in which the characters are related to the sex chromosomes so what characters he has taken we'll see so here if you observe very carefully he has taken okay, yellow bodied white eyed females that means he has taken a female of yellow body and white eyes and the genes concerned of body color and eye color they are present on sex chromosome that is x chromosome not on y chromosome and he has taken brown bodied red eyed male which is called wild type okay. so he has cross in f1 generation he got a female of wild type female of wild type means a female which we got that is brown body red eyes okay. that is in f1 generation he got an wild type okay. and later on the same procedure what mendel has done he has proceeded for f2 generation in f2 generation according to mendel if we take the mendel's dihybrid cross ratio what we should get is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio but here an interesting aspect is here he has not approached the ratio that is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio what is the reason why there is a deviation from mendel's dihybrid cross that is phenotypic ratio what is the reason here? the reason is here if you see the reason very carefully the genes which are very closely associated that means the distance between the genes has played a major role in the inheritance 
So here if you take the distance between the genes on a chromosome, many genes are present. So the genes which are located on the same chromosome and which are very close, they are inherited together. Inherited together means whatever the combination is present in parent, the same combination is seen in offspring. So that is called linkage. The inheritance of two genes together is called linkage. That means whatever the combination of genes are present in the parent, the same inherit is inherited to offspring. So this is called linkage. Here we may get it out why they will be inherited. Why not they will be different from parent? It depends on the distance between the genes. If the distance between the genes is less, they are inherited together with other genes which are present on the same chromosome. So they are called linked genes that means just like friends so linked genes can be compared with a friends which are very close a close friends which they make a movement for every activity like this the linked genes which are very close that is the distance between the genes is very less so that they are inherited inherited together that is called linkage. So here you will see what is the cross done by Mendel. In cross A, if you observe carefully, he has taken a female. So in female, what you are seeing, the yellow colored chromosomes, these are X chromosomes. So this is syndrome here, these are X chromosomes. So this is yellow body white eyes that is the female is yellow body white eyes. the male when you take it is one is x chromosome another one is y chromosome so y chromosome doesn't have genes related to body color and eye so that is uh, brown bodied and red eyes that is called wild type so a cross is conducted between yellow body white eyes and brown bodied red eyes. So in F1 generation, when you come to F1 generation, in F1 generation, the female which is of wild type has come. That is a yellow, that is brown bodied and red eyes, which is called the wild type. And he has caught a male which is yellow body and white eyes. That means whatever the combination is present in parents, it has come to offsprings in F1 generation. Just whatever the character is seen in the female parent, it has observed in male offsprings. Whichever is seen in the male, it, male parent, it is observed in the female offspring. Now, in the next stage, that is in F1 generation, whatever they are occurred, they are crossed between brown, red and yellow, white. So, that is brown bodied, red eyes female is crossed with yellow body, white eyes male. Then, they go to F2 generation. So, in this F2 generation, if you observe carefully, the first four are the males. In this males, one is wild type. Wild type means brown body, red eyes. Another one, yellow body, white eyes. Another one, brown body, that is uh, brown body, white eyes. Another one, yellow body, red eyes. So here, if you observe carefully in males, if you see this, there is a different combination. That is brown bodied, white eyes, 
yellow bodied red eyes and when you come to females when you see females very carefully here one wild type one wild type means brown bodied red eyes one yellow body white eyes another one that is brown bodied white eyes and another one yellow body red eyes so if you observe the f2 generation in f2 generation other than parental combination so what is parental combination yellow body white eyes brown body red eyes but here what we got the brown body white eyes a small percentage of this and next yellow body red eyes which is a different from parental combination so they have observed there is in f2 generation there is a a new combination has possible has come into picture other than parental combination that means if you observe this f2 generation the entire f2 generation practically 98.7 percent or of parental combination parental means whatever the combination is present in the parent the same has come only 1.3 percent is other than parental combination that is called recombinants so he has observed the result is this one so that means here they have not got the ratio 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 so in mendel he has got 9 is to 3 is to 1 3 is to 1 but here the ratio is quite different Yes, performed cross B. So in cross B, he has taken a female with white eyes and miniature wings, small wings, and red eyes, long wings. That is called the wild type. So this is mutant. This is called wild. So when he has crossed these two, that is white eyes, miniature wings with red eyes with long wings, he has got a female that is wild type. Wild type means that is red eyes, long wings, and he has got a mutant male is mutant with his white eyes and miniature wings. Again, a cross is conducted between these two, which has led to F2 generation. But when you come to F2 generation, here when you take the practical result, that is the final output of this F2 generation. Unfortunately, that is he has scored the parental combination is 62.8 percent. And recombinant percent is thirty-seven point two percent. See here, in cross A and cross B, see the difference between parental type and recombinant type. So, in for parental type, uh, in parental type, if you see the difference between cross A and cross B, that is ninety-eight point seven percent. But here it is, sixty-two point eight percent. In cross A, the recombinant percent is one point three, but here it is thirty-seven point two. Why there is lot of difference between these? Two. Even though they have taken the genes which are present on sex chromosome, that is on X chromosome, these genes are not present on Y chromosome. That's why. while we are drawing the y chromosome we don't draw any genes on the y chromosome so here the parental types means it is which is called linkage inheritance of genes together recombinant types means they are not inherited together some other combination has come
which is not seen in parent that is called recombinant thrips. So here we will see what is the reason behind this difference in the parental type and recombinant type in cross C and cross B. So what Morgan has observed, what is the reason for this deviated from Mendel's laws, not getting 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1, but at the same time there is a difference between cross A and cross B. What is the reason behind it? So he has, he has found there are some genes which were grouped on the same chromosome. On a chromosome there are many genes. Some genes are very tightly linked, while others are loosely linked. Tightly linked means the distance between the genes is less, whereas loosely linked means the distance between the genes is more. So, what is this? Okay, how it will affect? When the distance between the genes is that is less, that is, it leads to linkage. That is, physical association of genes on a chromosome is called linkage. Okay. Whereas recombination, that is, the generation of non-parental gene combination, it is called recombination. Why it will occur? The reason is crossing over of chromosomes during meiosis. So during meiosis, that is during packeting stage of meiosis, a very important step takes place that is crossing over, which leads to variations. So crossing over is a major process which occurs in meiosis which leads to variations. Variations means non-parental gene combinations. That's the reason why there is a recombination and why recombination is not seen in all cases, why there is a difference between cross A and cross B. Will observe. So here, here this, if you observe this, so this is a test cross performed. Okay. So he has taken that is a wild type that is great body with normal wings okay. and black body with vestigial wings. Okay. So we got an F1 hybrid that is great body normal wings that means Gray body normal wings is the dominant one. So this gray body normal wings is crossed with the recessive parent. The recessive parent means black body vestigial wings. And he got that is the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio. That is the ratio of the hybrid test cross. What he has done is the ratio. One is completely wild type, that is grey body, normal wings. One is, that is, black body, vestigial wings. Remaining two are combinations, black bodied vestigial wings, grey body vestigial wings. So that is, if you observe this, that is, here, here we got two parental types and two recombinant types. That means total, if you see in this total, there are parental types, that is if you see two of them are parental types and two of them are recombinant types. And if you, the, if you see the result of the original experiment, total parent types are of 965 and 944. So that is roughly about, it comes to that is 1900, uh, 1900 uh, that is 09. Okay. And when you come to recombinant times, it comes to roughly about, that is roughly about 400. Okay. So, 
here in test cross they have got there is that is the more of the parental types and the less of recombinant types okay so what is this what is happening in this okay. here we'll see here it is related to sex linked inheritance in drosophila here whatever the genes are taken they are present on x chromosome they are not present on y chromosome that means there is a sex linked inheritance where we are seeing the wild variety drosophila that is red i brown body and normal sized wing these are wild the mutated type is white eye yellow body and short this the genes which are responsible for eye color body color wing size they are present on x chromosome they are not present on y chromosome when a red eyed female is crossed with white eye there we got a red eye f concentration when male and female of can are cross in a two we got 50% male or white 50% or red so here the next thing if you observe very carefully whatever the genes which we are going to study that is related to color of eye color of body size of wings this all or present on x chromosome not on y chromosome so here you can see that is this is male this is y chromosome this is x chromosome so x chromosome with i color here you can see this is female this is x chromosome this is x chromosome with red i that means here it is uh, uh, that is red eye and it is white eyes okay. in f1 generation we got the male with red eyes and female with white eyes so a female with white eyes a male with red eyes whatever the combination is present in parent the same thing has come in f2 generation if you see that is we got one male with white eye one male with red eyes okay. and next one that is male with red eyes white body brown body red eyes okay. so here if you can see the differences here that is this is yellow body red eyes Hello, body, white eyes. So that is here. These are recombinants. Hello, body, red eyes. And next one, red eyes, white body. These are these are parental types. Okay. So like this, D H Morgan has got this ratio. that is if you observe carefully the parental generation f1 generation and next if you see the f2 generation this is red this is white what they got in f1 generation that is they got a red a red eye female a red eye male when they are cross in f2 generation we got red eyed female red eyed female red eye male and white eye male that means out of total four if you see three or red only one is white so here what is happening what is this recombination so recombination why it will what is this recombination what is the process leads to recombination so recombination is a process by which 
the same chromosomes the genes which are present on same chromosomes are separated a new combination of chromosomes are formed that means during the process of meiosis the genes are separated and it will form new combinations why it will happen what is the reason for this that is the main reason for this is crossing over during meiosis that is during meiosis during this packeting stage crossing over occurs due to this crossing over what will happen in crossing over that is the physical exchange between paired homologous chromosomes in prophase that is Packetin is a sub-stage of prophase 1 where crossing over takes place, which is a very important event. So, at any one point, the crossing over takes place between two sister, that is, between two non-sister chromatids. Always crossing over takes place between homologous chromosomes of non-sister chromatids. Okay. So later on in prophase, the crossing over that is becomes visible as a chiasmata. Chiasmata means that is the point where crossing over has occurred that is called chiasmata. Okay. So the point where the chromosomes has crossing over has taken place in the chromatids that is there you can see an X shaped structure which is called chiasmata. So, chiasmata represents where the point where crossing over has taken place. Okay. So, here you can see the diagrams of a crossing over. Okay. So, these are genes A, B, C which are present on a chromosome. This is a chromosome, this is a sister chromatid. And this is a chromosome, homologous chromosome with genes A short small a small b small c and here crossing over has taken place this is the point where crossing over has taken place this point is called chiasmata so here you can see there is a physical exchange of chromatids the path which is present here it is exchanged with this the path which is present here it is so here what is the combination we got capital a capital b small c small a small b small c what is the original parental combination a b c small a small b small c but here what we got capital a capital b capital small c small a small b is capital c that means this is non recombinant non recombinant means parental type Whereas these two are recombinant type. So non recombinant is a recombinant. Due to crossing over the recombinant process, that is, the exchange of chromatid parts will take place, that is, physical exchange of chromatids takes place, which leads to that is the recombinant types. So here you can see exactly what happens in prophase 1 that is during prophase 1 this process takes place during packeting substage. In prophase 1 there are liptotin, zygotin, packetin, diplotin, dichrist. The crossing over takes place during packeting. So what is meant by recombination? Recombination means the reassortment of alleles into chromosomes is different from those of parents. What will happen? Okay. So, as a result, what will happen is that is, we can get different from those parents. So, here you can see this is AB parental type, small a, small b parental type. 
so here crossing over has taken place now what it has become capital a small b small a small b okay. so here recombinant due to crossing over will always will have a lower frequency so here you can see normal parental common parental types with higher frequency recombinant small a capital b low frequency capital a small b low frequency so here what you are seeing this is the crossing over which takes place during the meiosis 1 of prophase 1 and this x shaped structure is called chisma which represent the point where the crossing over has taken place so recombination means the reassortment of alleles which leads to formation of different combination from those of parent so besides linkage and recombination thomas hunt morgan experiments has brought another concept into picture that is gene mapping which is done by the student of thomas morgan that is to what thing So he is a student of Thomas Hunt Morgan, which has brought the concept of gene mapping. What is gene mapping? It is just like Google Map, where it will discuss, it will tell what is the distance between one location to other location. The same like gene mapping, which describes, identifies the locus of a gene, the position of a gene, and the distance between the genes. That means. on a chromosome there are genes for example if we take a b c okay. if we see this between a and b the distance is less between b and c the distance is more okay. so here this the distance between genes and identifies the locus of a gene which on a particular place of a chromosome it is called gene mapping okay what is the purpose of this gene mapping that is it is to collection of molecular markers on which the position is on the genome okay so morgan has proposed that so finally what morgan has proposed is when the distance between genes is less the linkage the will be more strength that means when the distance between the genes is less the two genes are inherited together okay. so this proposition became the basis of construction of maps whatever the gene mapping it is used in human genome project so which is done by where many countries are involved okay. so along with linkage and recombination thomas hunt morgan experiment has brought into picture that is the gene mapping into picture where it is used in human genome project and it is also used to that is molecular markers so this is how the thomas hunt morgan experiment has helped so here you can see linkage map okay. so in this linkage map the mapping of whole human genome it plays an important role in medicine okay. so here you can identify what is the use of this linkage map you can search of genes which leads to different types of diseases like inherited disorders understand the treatment okay. what is the reason what is the human migration pattern is taken in the past linkage map is a genetic map based on recombination frequency so what is the unit of distance that is between two genes that is map unit m dot 
तो वन मैप यूनिट इज इक्वल टू वन परसेंट ऑफ रिकॉम्बिनेशन फ्रीक्वेंसी मैप यूनिट इज द द यूनिट ऑफ मेजरमेंट ऑफ डिस्टेंस बिटवीन जीन्स सो वन मैप यूनिट इज इक्वल टू वन परसेंट रिकॉम्बिनेशन फ्रीक्वेंसी so here you can see that is a linkage map so here you can see what is the distance between genes here you can see a and b are very closely related and when you come to b and c they are far apart here also small a is small b there is b and c they are far apart with each other so After crossing over, here you can see what is the combination of genes and what is the distance. So here you can discuss about a little bit about recombinant frequency. What I told, one map unit is equal to one percent of recombination frequency. So here they are given recombination frequency values. That is. If we see this, the between A and B, the recombination is thirteen point two percent, and between B and C, it is six point four percent. That means from A to C, if we take, it is eighteen point five percent. That is centimorgon. See him here. Distance is centimorgons. To write the distance, we'll write. 13.2 centimorgons between A and B. 6.4 centimorgons between B and C. Okay. So here you can see between A and C the recombination frequency is smaller than distance between A and B. Okay. So to here there is a double cross over here. Okay. This is how. We'll write the distance between the genes like this. Okay, here C M means centimorgon. We'll write the distance between the genes like this. The recombination frequency that is taken in the form of that is map index. Okay, so here you can see how we'll mention the distance like this. Okay, so. 18.5 centimorgon the directly measured ac or a phase smaller than map distance calculated from the ab and bc why it is smaller the reason is double cross over the reason is double cross over so follow us on social media space university After Thomas Hunt Morgan, after linkage and recombination concepts, the next one is the next concept is sex determination. During eighteen ninety one, a scientist called Hanking he observed a specific structure that is in the nucleus during spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis means formation of male gametes. So what he observed in male gametes of insects is 50% of the sperms received the specific structure, whereas 50% doesn't receive. What is this specific? It is the X chromosome. What he called it as X body. So he has identified it as X body. Later on, it was named as X chromosome. That is. Hen King has discovered the X chromosome, which plays an important role in the sex determination. As well as these, along with X chromosome, there are different chromosomes like Y. So, based on the sex chromosome types, the sex determination is done, like XY system. This is one type in mammals. X zero system in certain insects. Z W system in birds. So depending upon the organisms, there will be different types of sex determination. 
So first you look into x x and x zero type. Here it is x zero. That means no chromosome here. Only one x chromosome is there. It is seen in grasshopper. So when you come to grasshopper, it has twenty four chromosomes. It has twenty four chromosomes. The male has only twenty three. That means it has only twenty two autosomes and one X chromosome. It means all have X chromosome. But in some sperms, when you come to sperms which are haploid, they will have twenty two plus X one X X chromosome. 22 plus 0, no chromosome here. That means X which are fertilized with this will get that is a female. X which are fertilized with this will get a male. That means in male 22 autosomes, one X chromosome. Total 23. Whereas in females. Twenty-two plus two, two X chromosomes total twenty-four chromosomes. So it is called XX X zero type of sex determination. So here you can see the male twenty-two plus X, the female twenty-two plus two X chromosomes. And next we will come to XX and XY type of sex determination. So this is seen in mammals. If you take human. In females, there will be that is, if you take humans, there will be total twenty-three pair of chromosomes. Twenty-three pairs means how much it will become total forty-six. In out of forty-six, forty-four will be autosomes, and remaining two will be sex chromosomes. So here, if you take Forty-four autosomes, two or six chromosomes. That is, if you take female, it will have two X chromosomes. If you take male, forty-four plus X Y, one X chromosome and Y chromosome. That means during formation of gametes, fifty percent of the gametes will have X chromosome, fifty percent of the gametes will have Y chromosome. But in the females, it is not like this. All will have X chromosome. Only one type of female can. Here, are two types of. So it is called male is heterogamity, female is homogamity. Here you can see father X Y, mother X X. So here, daughter X X X Y, daughter X X son X. -X. In some insects also, that is, you can see X X and X Y. This is X chromosome. This is this is X chromosome. This is Y chromosome. And the next one is Z Z Z W type of sex determination. So this sex determination is seen in birds. Where here, the male birds have Z Z. That is. Here the males are homogamity, where there only one type of gamete is produced. Whereas when you come to female, it is heterogamety. Female will have Z W. That means fifty percent of the gametes will have Z chromosomes. Fifty percent of the gametes will have W chromosomes. So here. Female heterogamity, male homogamity. So here you can see that is female Z W two gamete with Z gamete with W. Male all gametes with Z. That means here sex of the offspring is decided by the female. So wherever you are seeing heterogamity, they, that will decide the sex of the offspring. Wherever there is homogamity, 
it doesn't play an important role in the sex of the offspring. Okay. So, in sex determination, we have that is the three types of sex determination XX, XO, XX, XY, ZW, ZZ. And the next concept is mutation. What is meant by mutation? Mutation means a sudden phenotypic variation, a sudden change in the phenotype. That is, phenotypic means externally we are seeing white will occur due to change in gene or DNA sequence. That is called mutation. And the organism which has undergone mutation, it is called mutation. What are mutations? That is, a change will occur in gene or DNA sequence. If you take a chromosome, loss, deletion or gain of segment of DNA in a chromosome. These are called chromosomal operations. There is a change in the chromosome. If there is a change in the sequence of gene, it is called gene mutation. So here you can see the mutation takes place due to a single base pair DNA, like sickle cell and mu, which we will discuss in genetic disorders. Due to this deletion or insertion of in a DNA, it leads to frame shift mutations. It leads to frame shift mutations. So so, mutation is a sudden change which occurs externally due to change in gene or a DNA sequence. In mutations, we can see chromosomal aberrations which are generally seen in cancer patients. Okay. And we can see gene mutations where there is a change in gene sequence of DNA, single base pair of DNA. Due to Deletion or insertion of one base pair of DNA, it leads to frame shift mutations. So, this is about the mutations where we can see changes in a gene sequence or a chromosome, which leads to various disorders like sickle cell anemia, hemophilia, these all are different genetic disorders as well as we can see we can study about chromosomal disorders where it is leading to different health issues. Thank you all. We will meet in the next session. Follow us on social media SPSUs. Thank you.